all right guys welcome back to another tutorial and in my opinion this is gonna be the coolest tutorial yet because I'm gonna to talk to you guys about something called media queries and it is arguably the most important part of responsive web design because what it's gonna do is it's gonna allow you to take your responsive websites to the next level so up until now these tutorials have been pretty cool I mean we learned to make some um, menus at the top that contracted oops, either contracted or expanded depending on the size of window of the window and also we learned to make some images that could shrink or grow depending on of course the size of the window but we haven't really learned to make a truly responsive website a website that style can actually change if we were looking at it let's say on the mobile phone versus a browser so there's a difference between the entire styling actually changing and just having stuff shrink or grow so that's where media queries come in now the easiest way I can explain a media query is it's basically a test so what your computer does is it looks at your browser and it says okay I'm gonna test something and of course what we're gonna test for is is the browser small like you're looking at it on a mobile device or is it big like you're looking at it on just a regular desktop like this and depending on their results of that test it says okay if the test results are this display this styling if there's something else display another styling so that's what a media query is so now let's go ahead and start using it and right now as you can see the website's blank I cleared everything out also what clean our CSS file so just so we have something to look at I'll just write bacon and tuna is good. la 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 there we go all right so this is just so we have something other than you know just a blank white web page so now let me hop over in index CSS and if I try to talk to you guys or talk you guys through the entire um, process like as I'm doing it it's gonna be kinda of confusing so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type all of this out and then explain what each part means and then it's gonna be um, really easy to understand and you guys are like okay that's like the coolest thing ever so type media screen and I'll just write max width 800 pixels and inside here this is gonna look familiar because this is where we're gonna be applying some styling so body you know what this does I'll just set like um I don't know background color or something so background color to blue and I'll change the font size too. so font size equals I don't know 40 pixels and I know I told you guys to stay away from pixels but this is just a quick example so this my friend is a media query so first before we actually start breaking this up and find out what it does let's go ahead and look what it does on my website refresh it and it does hmm, nothing what a waste of time a waste of tutorial however check this out watch what happens when I start shrinking this website nothing 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 and then suddenly the background turns blue and the text becomes 40 pixels tall okay so I, so this isn't like uh, two different websites all I'm doing is taking one website shrinking it and once it gets below 800 pixels the style completely changes to a blue background and a different size font now <laughs> Of course, whenever you're making this in real life, you just don't want to change the background color of your website for mobile phones. You're going to want to do something like change the layout so elements are easier to click on and view. But for right now, um, it's good for demonstrating what a media query is. So again, a media query is set up like this. We already know what it does. It tests the browser. So, well, I'll talk you guys through it line by line now. So what we're basically saying is we're making a media query so computer we're gonna be testing the browser and if the test is true apply this styling if the test is false or if this test if the re test results come back negative it sounds like you know my testing my browser for HIV or something but if the test results are negative then don't apply the styling at all so the stuff inside this bracket only gets applied if this test is true so now let's look at the test so media says we're making query a test screen 
means are you looking at this website on a screen and you're thinking what the heck else would I be looking at it on um, there's actually CSS that you can apply to print like if you're printing stuff out but 99% of the time um, people just apply this to a screen so I'm not really worried about print for these tutorials because I don't know I just don't care about it I don't think you guys are watching these tutorials for that either so that's our first test is it a screen a smartphone a desktop um, a tablet anything like that and the other test we want to apply or the other query is max width so this is a really easy way to test the width of your browser now of course 800 is pretty good because most desktop monitors are more than 800 pixels so if you're looking at on a smartphone phone or um, a small screen device then this styling is only gonna apply for mobiles or tablets and stuff like that so this is one test that we can have to apply styles only to small screen devices there are other ones too I'll talk to you guys later on but for now that's what it does it says okay this test is constantly gonna be running and checking itself and once the test is true yes this is still a screen once it gets less than 800 pixels then it says okay now I apply this styling right here and there are also different ways to set this up in oh okay I guess I'll show you guys one way that we can set it up right now instead of having the CSS file set up like this what we can do is something like this we can add another property in our link tag and we can add our test right there so take this test is it a screen and is it less than 800 pixels and stick it right in your media attribute now in here what you can do is apply your styling and let me save both of these files and whenever you do it like this you get the exact same results so again this is just a different way to set it up so this is pretty much saying this this is a link to a style sheet called index CSS and of course this style sheet just turns your background blue and makes your font big however I only want you to load this style sheet if this media test is true so only load this style sheet if you're on a screen with less than 800 pixels so instead of embedding the test in a style sheet that's always called again this is a different way to set it up if you prefer that and there are actually benefits to either one and I'll talk to you guys about that later on but for now I think you guys had enough um, if you want to go ahead and take all the code from this it's on my forum as always um, I don't know I guess that's all I have to say about right now in the next tutorials what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna start setting up an actual websites now that we have the basic pieces of information that we need to make a full responsive um, website so thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Yada yada tomato tomato. I'll see you guys later.